We've been talking about your commute and how it may have changed since the start of the King Street pilot project. As soon as this project started, and, and Mondays, Monday to Saturday, it's, it's, been, it's been bad every day. But some businesses along King are claiming the impacts on more than just the commute. Paulo Centelli fears fewer people will drive on King Street, meaning less customer traffic. Well, a lot of people are confused. A lot of people think they cannot even drive on King Street. So uh, some people, they come, they get confused too because they don't understand the reason why they can't go straight after the intersection. Vino Kapoor was planning on closing his rug business for good in April because his building is set for demolition. But he says the transit changes have preponed his plans. He put this ad out today, placing the blame directly on the pilot project, which for a year will mean cars can only drive one block along King before being forced to turn. Unfortunately, uh, this pilot project of the uh, King Street uh, has made it uh, definite that we can't be here. Business are not viable. It just things don't work. We need the visibility. If there is not going to be any anybody driving by, and even if they can drive by, they have to know exactly pin drop where you are. But the city says it's premature for businesses to point fingers. After all, the pilot project has only been up and running for two weeks. The pilot project's been in place now for, for less than two weeks. And what we're doing is working closely with the local business improvement associations who represent all the businesses, as well as any individual businesses that reach out. In a statement to City News, the mayor's office says city staff will be measuring all aspects of this project, including whether or not it has an impact on area businesses. Mayor Tory is committed to getting Toronto moving, and that could only happen by trying bold ideas like the King Street pilot. Doing nothing is not an option. The city also says that prior to the project, they have held a number of public meetings and mailed out 30,000 flyers to residents and business owners to get feedback before proceeding with this transit test. Brandon Rose, City News.